Hello, you lovely learners. What we're going to do today is, first of all, if you haven't shown me your three rough drafts, or maybe four or five, depending, um, for your radial design, you need to come show me your rough drafts before you do this. Got it? Okay. Show me your rough drafts. If you haven't, just press pause, come show me, and then come watch again. Here's what we're up to. We are getting our final paper. So you've decided on what you want to do for your radial design, which is really exciting, but now it's time to um, get your final paper. The final paper is over by the windows. And what you're going to do, the first thing, is you're going to trace a circle on your big sheet of final paper. So our big sheets of final paper are huge. Um, and we can actually fit three different people's work on one of these big sheets of paper. So the way that we're going to do it is we're gonna get a plate. And if you put the first person who traces, if they trace all the way over in this very, very tiny corner, um, there will be room for three people to get their project out of here. So I've got one space for one here. There's space for one over all the way in this little corner here. And then there'll be space for one more up here. So the, you're going to trace on a large piece of paper. Um, you'll trace one, two, and then three. So like two huge eyes and then a big nose right here. So that's the first step. Trace the circle. Once you've traced the circle, and I traced really light because I messed up the first time. Once you've traced the circle, you are simply going to cut it out. So you're just going to cut the circle out next using scissors. You're going to cut nice and slowly so that you get really neat results. We want it to be um, as nice looking of a circle as we can make it. And then here's when things get complicated, complicated, complicated. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to fold the paper out. And the idea, fold the paper up rather, the idea is that we get eight little pieces of pie that are all as close to the same size as we can get. And it doesn't really matter if you've got like um, inaccuracies in your paper. Like you can see there's like a tiny bump out right there. That's okay as long as the length of each of these is the same. And like the angle is approximately the same of each is what we're looking for. So this is kind of a tricky step. So to make them all the same, what I do is I get my paper and I'm here at my table. I've got some space. This is going to end up being the back because I accidentally wrote something there unintentionally. I'm, even, I'm just going to put my name here right now. I spelled my own name wrong. That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, got it. So my name's on here now. And what I'm going to do is I want to fold it in half to make these two sides equal. So I am pushing both papers so that they line up here and then I'm going to pull back and go like that and then take my fingernail rush, rush, and get like a really nice crease happening in there. And then I, what I want to do is add another line here so that instead of it being two pieces, it's four. And so in order to do that, and I hope you can catch, see the light here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with this to create a crease across the middle. So I'm looking to line the line up with itself. Check, 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 check. It's lined up with itself. And then I push down, over, and then I use my fingernail. Okay, so now I've got four pieces, and hopefully you can see with the light, these are all exactly the same. Yay! So if you want to do that and press pause and then come back, and then the next step is I want to make a line going here and then another line going here. So I'm going to start with this one. And to make the line here, I'm actually going to match this line up with this and this line here up with this one. So I fold like that. I look to like line these two up with each other. That's correct. That's correct. So those two are lined up right now. And I go back and I double check both sides. Double check, double check, double check. And then, and then crease with my fingernail. Press pause if you need to and do it. And then come back. And now we just need this one more. We just want to add one more line right here. 
And so in order to get that one, I'm actually going to line 1, 2, 3 up with 1, 2, 3 up here. So these are lined up. These are lined up. That's not lined up, so I need to line that one up. And then I need to double check these other two. So all three are lined up right now. Pull it back, fold, fingernail. And then I've got all four, or all eight pieces that are the same. So that is step three. My paper is folded. Per I want you to go show this to me right now. Bring it to me, your teacher, Miss McIntosh, and show it to me. So I can kind of check it to make sure that it's gonna work properly. And so press pause and show it to me. You're back. Good job. So the final step is now going to be to actually draw your design idea from your rough draft just into one of the pieces of pie. And so what you should be able to do is actually take your final paper, put it over your rough draft like this, and you should be able to trace it there. Um, you might be like, Miss McIntosh, I can't see this through the paper. So you've got a couple of options for tracing it into this first section um, out of your process journal. You can tear your rough draft out of your process journal and you can go over to the window by the door. Or you can go over here and we can open these curtains and you can actually climb up there and trace on the window there. Or some students are being super crafty and they're taking like a bin like this and they're putting the flashlight um, on on their phone. Bloop. Nope, that's airplane mode. Ugh. And a student taught me this. They put the flashlight into the bin like that and then they go up here and they can see through now. They can see right through the paper. And then they're tracing. This isn't working. I need to get a camera crew. You can actually trace right here through the paper using the flashlight. Uh-huh. You can do that. All right. Um, so once you trace, and you're actually going to be allowed to trace using just a Sharpie. You don't have to use a pencil. You don't have to use a pencil. You can go straight to a skinny Sharpie. And once you trace and it looks like this, you're going to come check it with me again. So come check it. And then um, don't go on yet because I need to check it first. But the idea is that we take it from here and we reflect it over this line, whoop, so that's an ref exact reflection over here. So the tree that you see right here will pop out this direction right here. Um, what you are not doing is you are not drawing it here once and then just drawing it here again and again and again. We are practicing the skill of reflecting. And I'll show you how to do that either in the next video or in class, but I'll teach you how to do it. Don't just start doing it. Okay. Um, have so much fun.